my friends. It's me, Karen Valentine. And today I am going to do um, a different kind of video that you've seen from me before. Um, I had planned on doing a color along, but work has gotten really hectic and busy for me. This is kind of the beginning of season for me, so I haven't had time to do a sit down color along. But because we're kind of at the end of the month and I actually have time to get in one more colorversary video, I thought I would share with you my little coloring corner. So when I first started coloring, I either had to color in my craft room, which is the other end of the house, or with a little lap desk um, here on the couch. And, and neither of those options were making me very happy. <laughs> I was either um, away from my um, family or I was kind of constricted and didn't have a lot of room in coloring when I was coloring on the couch. So I asked my hubby if he minded if I did some rearranging and, and put a desk in here. And he's such an easygoing guy, he didn't care. He, he was fine with it. So I, um, I took that white chair that is right there. It used to be over there, moved it here, got rid of another chair and did some, um, some secondhand thrift store searching, which I absolutely love. That's most of the things that you'll find in my house are secondhand and re, um, have been redone. So I got this little white cabinet at the thrift store, that little bookcase, and then I found my desk, which actually is a dining room table. Um, I did not paint it, which is odd for me because I usually love to paint furniture, but I really liked it brown as is, so I kept it that way. So let me just give you a quickie little tour of, of, um, of, of my world, of my little world here. So this is a, um, a basket that I have that's on wheels, and that is where I store all of my um, favorite coloring books, the ones that I um, use most often that I'll flip through and, and pull out for when I want to um, color in those. And then the, um, the unused books are in that little gray cabinet there. And there's some other assorted little supplies in the, in the um, drawer. And then let's see, let's go around, go around here. This is my desk chair. So in that bookcase, and actually I'm gonna sit down. In this bookcase, I have all of my um, PDF, my completed PDF pages. Um, so if I do enough of them from an artist, they get a um, three ring binder with little sleeves and that's where they go. And then I have some other assorted things down there. And here I have really nice and handy. I can just turn around and throw my um, pencil shavings. I just took a little plastic container that I saved from a cleaning product, but it works great to hold um, the messy stuff, the pencil shavings and things like that. So I can easily dump them, but I don't actually have to look at a garbage can. And then we have um, all of my, um, my back stock, shall we say, of, of my colored pencils, as well as I've got the, um, the box down there with a bunch too, but these are ones that I picked up, like when I went to the art supply store and I grabbed my most used pencils because God forbid we run out of our favorite pencil when we need it. <laughs> and then there's some other little doodads back in here that I use. Uh, my water brushes are in here and rulers and stuff like that. So this was another little box that I found at the thrift store and it is actually perfect for holding my pan pastels. And this drawer has all of my um, eraser refills and some sandpaper, some super glue for gluing pencils together, <laughs> and my sponges for my pan pastels. So, what's in there? I think, yep, extra pan pastels. And other little tools, brushes, doodads like that. 
And then over here we have all of my colored pencil full um, books. I don't, I can't think of what those are called. But anyway, all my pencils are there, so they're at easy reach. I can grab whatever I need um, for that. And then my lamp, which lights up my workspace for me very nicely. I don't have a lot of, it's actually, this is probably the brightest time of day in this, in this room. There's not a lot of, um, a lot of windows to get me natural light, but so I don't actually film in here, but this is my view when I'm sitting here coloring my husband and my dog hang out on the couch and I sit here and play and it's wonderful. I really, really like being able to be in with the family when I want to, um, to sit here and color at night. So that is a wonderful thing. Let's see, is there anything else? Anything else to show you here? I don't think so. I mean, you guys have seen most of the, um, you know, the coloring supplies and, and stuff like that. So I'll just get it back up. So that's my little, my little coloring nook. It is, uh, it, as the, it is, as this pillow says, it is my happy place. <laughs> and I, uh, it's, it's good for my mental health to be able to just take a break and um, do some mindless coloring. And, and then I can tackle real life and work and all of that stuff. So that is it. It was a short little video, but um, I just thought I would show it to you. So that's all for now. I hope you guys are um, having fun working on whatever projects you are currently working on. I am hoping to get to um, the next color along uh, as soon as I can. Um, as I, I think I said, we're now ramping up for the busiest time of year for me um, in, the vintage, um, in the vintage home decor industry and I do a lot of handmade things as well so it's going to be kind of busy for me but I will get that done as soon as I can. And I'm rambling. Thank you so much for um, hanging out, checking out my little space and I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks so much. Take care.